Thanks, folks, for coming to the meeting tonight. Uh, call this meeting to order. Is there any agenda additions or deletions? Uh, the only thing I have is that uh, uh, Bob Bixby, who technically this would have been his last meeting because he's not running again, he's in the hospital. And I mentioned to him that we would call in just to scream and shout good health and all this stuff. So is there, if there's no one objecting to that. You want to do that now? Right. <coughs> so would it get a number right there? What the other one? Hello. Hey, Bob. This is the select board meeting. Oh, well, good evening, gentlemen. <laughs> How you doing, Bob? Good, good. Well, I say good. If I was good, I wouldn't be here. But, yeah. Uh, no, just waiting for some answers right now, and that's all. Well, we've got you on speakerphone, so you're on camera too. And to start off with, I guess I'll go first and say, being that it would have been your last meeting, um, we want to thank you for all of your years of service to the town of Clarendon and all that you have done over the years. And um, thank you for always being there. Well, I thank you very much, Robert. Uh, hopefully it won't be my last meeting. I'm hoping to be able out of here and make town meetings. Well, that's good. That's a good thing. That's the plan, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. But uh, otherwise, everybody down there is well. Everybody's here doing well. Good. Good. That's good, Robert. Do you, do you want to stay on for the meeting? Because I can leave you on here next to me if you want. No, because I'm expecting Dr. Wren most of the time. Okay. Yeah, no. Well, we'll uh, <laughs> everybody here wish you well. Yeah. Well, thank, thank you very much, Robert, and uh, you guys stay out of trouble. <laughs> okay, yeah, I wish you okay. well. Thank All right. Hey. Yeah. Thank you very much for calling. Hey, care, Bob. Hey, Bob, congratulations yeah. on the many years, and welcome to the golden years. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm seeing them up here when they go to the lab. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bob, we'll be well, and we, we wish you well, and hopefully you'll be out soon. Well, thank you very much, and we'll talk to you gentlemen later. All right, okay. be safe. Have kid. a good night. Say hi to the girls there, too. Will do. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That was good. Thanks, Bob. Oh, it's a volume. It'll still do it? Bam! <laughs> Okay. Why does it do that? Is it a, it's an echo or something? Mm -hmm. huh? All right. Is there any other additions or deletions? Hearing none, uh, I'd ask for a motion with, uh, to approve the February 13th meeting minutes. So moved. A second it. Is there any, uh, anything anybody noticed or is anything? No. Me either. All right. No, nope, it looks good to me. All right, all those in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? All right. Highway, road commissioner's report. Pretty much all we have for tonight is the uh, culvert replacement on the uh, Creek Road of um, awarding the contract, discussing that. Um, we have... Of, of the site visit, we had uh, eight contractors, and we actually received nine bids. Eight, I uh, know, seven bids. Um, you want me to list the last well, one? I think the, <coughs> the spreadsheet is available, I think, for everybody to look at. Anybody who wants to, I know that it was sent out to the board after your opening last week, which was yep. a public meeting as well. And I would go ahead and make the motion that we award the contract to KT Hathaway excavation 
And with that motion, it's just the board chair would sign it. Uh, yes. I'll, I'll add that to the motion that the board chairman be the one to sign it. I'll second that motion. Is there any further discussion? Just. Um, I do have the actual physical bids if you want to look at them. Um, but it's Spread basically a summary good of... good enough yeah. for me. Yeah. Yeah, the, uh, <coughs> our engineer sent us a nice letter. And we have that on record too, right, Kate? Um, the from the I can put it down in the minutes that we got a letter of recommendation, yeah. Yeah. So uh, there's no other concerns. All those in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? So let me just sign this real quick. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, anything else? That's about all I have for right now. All right. I just want to comment on uh, how good a job your crew did down there uh, establishing that back end of that new piece of the yeah, building. Mission. Yeah. You got it. They did a really good job. Yep, they did. Uh, I know it's still a, a work in progress, but right. um, so if guys get a chance go down and check it out they did a good job I'll pass it on to the crew yeah. <coughs> nothing else That's that. okay. <coughs> uh, just for the record when do they when do they consider they're going to start working on that creek road we're looking at we're looking at dates after 4th of July First part of August, and we'll get with the contractor and stuff. And it depends; it's weather related too. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and hopefully it dries up some, because that. So well know. before school starts. Oh yeah. Yeah. So are we gonna have a second mud season this year or what? <laughs> yeah, certainly. Second. I mean, we've already had one. Second. <laughs> we've already had one, second right? Probably gonna be more. Yeah. Unreal. The. Uh, I got a letter, or an email rather, I'm sorry, uh, asking about the Clarendon addiction help thing. It's just a notification to put on our... Yeah, and they would like to have that. We do have, uh, around, I guess around the state, there's 20 or 22 facilities, and one of them, of course, is down in the, what's that, the old house center? Is that... What Gene and Cola used uh, on yeah, that's yeah that's where it's located. So, Gloria, if you wouldn't mind, is that okay with you? Guys? I glanced at the website today. I didn't see any concerns about mm -hmm. putting it on our list. We have a list of links yeah. anyway on yeah. the page. So, aren't most of our links local people though? They are. But these are these Portland. Are, these, this is local too, Art. Okay, it's affiliated with the hospital. Yeah. But I mean, in in from what I saw, Springfield was on there too. I, don't know, <coughs> I mean, everything around us was. Oh, probably. Cash. No problem. Okay. It's just a link. Oh, yeah, appreciate I appreciate passing. Yeah, I wanted to go on and make sure it wasn't going to divert you to something like in Missouri or something. You know, like, is it actually? All right. If here? there's nothing else under highway, no one has any questions for the road commissioner. Was here. Uh, I'd ask for approval of the select board warrants, and they're right here, and they're all signed, I take it. Guests. Does anybody? Kevin, you got nothing to say tonight? I do, but I... Is the cemetery on the agenda? No, no, no. it's not. No, no. so you, you're, you're, you're you you're done. You're I'm just talking about it under my report. Where? Oh. <laughs> I'm tagged with her. Well, okay. okay. All right. Forget it. We don't need it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why don't you go ahead? It's, and no, talk. because it's got to do with what she wrote. Well, yeah, but didn't you, you could start you it. Leave. Okay. Well, I was just going to give you an update on what I've been working on. Okay. Um, I think last meeting we talked about trying to figure out if there was any um, indication if the people on Gene Stone's land was a town burial or a private burial. Um, so 
I got with Gloria, found the death certificate for the one guy, and it doesn't mention private or town. Um, and the other guy did not die in Vermont, so we couldn't access his death certificate very easily. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Um, so then I looked through the minutes um, around, like, those time, like, death or whatever, and I found in April 24th, 2006, that Gene Stone reported that in, 19, in a 1950, based on a handshake, several persons had been buried at the south end of the cemetery, off cemetery land, on land that he owns now. So that's not... So admitting that they're private burials. In yeah, I, I'm not sure how concrete that information is, but... So, read it one more time. So, on the, on a... Gene Stone reported that in 1950, based on a handshake, several persons had been buried at the south end of the cemetery, parentheses, off cemetery land, on land that he now owns. Okay. Did you... So, he allowed it. He allowed it. Well, with a, he with didn't a hand, own... With the handshake, he, he he allowed but it. But he's saying the handshake happened before he owned the 1950. land. 1950. Yeah. So, what's convoluted gets even more convoluted. Exactly. But but he bought the land knowing those were there. Those True. bodies were there. True. Because you're that, buying. Because any property is bought as is. Right. And is that so, the, the graves had, that you and I looked at? He had to acknowledge it because it's a. He come in there and says about 1950. There's a handshake and. Yeah. He must know something. But but again, property is bought as is. Right. So you've assumed ownership unless there's some sort of a... Unless a legal document can be produced right. stating that there was some prior condition, the property is as is. Yeah, an original. It would ha there'd cemetery. have to be some sort of a guarantee or some sort of a legal piece. Right. Which, if there was something, would it be attached to the deed? No. Now, are these the t two graves that one was his friend and one was a private? Well, one's one, an in-law. His wife is a Daza. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. A -A one's an in-law. That's one of the graves. The other one's a friend, the person that died in New York. Uh, those are outside. We know those where those are. You're right. Uh, but the one in New York was a dad. It was related to the dad, too. It could be. It's it said it in the literary. Right. That's okay. right. The and love so of his life was Rose Dazzy yeah. Deno. Yeah. Right. So we know those two are there and I don't know if he's referring to that. But I did and you know last week I got the after we went up there with you, uh, I got the meeting minutes, I pulled the books and I looked up their last names, I looked up burials, I looked up Spafford, Cemetery, and, and the index is the only thing in the in any of the town meetings 2006 2007 was just referring to what we've already been the land dispute around the land dispute mm -hmm. the land dispute other than that the survey the tinker surveys and that kind of stuff nothing about where anybody approached the town to gain approval for burial in or outside the cemetery is mike spatter's father still alive yes yeah. he, he was because he was proactive i, I remember when I first got on the board. Actually, I think I was in the planning commission then, so it had to be 89 or something. And uh, he came in to speak about some maintenance needed, the town needed, or he needed some help from the town on some maintenance there. There was. Hey, have but I wonder if he. That was the cemetery was beyond his control then because it got turned over to the town in 74. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this was 1989. So he may have wanted some, maybe some stuff because, you know, there was years of neglect. I mean, maybe, there may have been some brush or tree limbs or stuff down in there that we wanted to clean up. But, I mean, as far as ownership, after families needed it over to the town in 74. So. Well, yeah. I'm thinking is if, if he can't. If Gene Stone can prove that the town was responsible for those graves being where they are, then we got a problem. But if he can't prove that the town was involved in it, that the town is the one that allowed it. Which it doesn't sound like, if, if it's a handshake, it doesn't sound like there's going to be. No, then, then it's just private burial on private land. 
Done which, deal. Ver, which Vermont allows. Right. Yeah. So that's the way it is. Well, um, I think we just have to wait for the next step. If he, he comes back to the select board meeting and demands, or then we'll take it. We'll get it. Well, we've to seen. Lawyer. I want to be gentle here. We've seen to some degree that next step basically once again may not be tied to anything concrete. You know. Mm -hmm. You know, not having, not being of a, a logical or a, a, a thought uh, basically, there's uh, maybe I don't want to use the word some confusion. Well, there's certainly there's certainly obscurity yeah. around what the nature of said handshake from 1950 whatever was back then i would maybe suggest a letter from the board saying this is what we've got this is the conclusion we've come to or from someone saying and if he's got something else or there's something else that he can bring come forth so this is what i've got well in that letter well, that we should indicate those records that you found and the other records that we also have uh, uh, recorded right in the, in the well, so information, but what but what I'm saying though is, Rob, um, we have did all our due diligence. That property is his. Those folks are his relatives. To your point, private burial on private land. The town's not going to get involved with it. I mean, I bring that up for the fact of two weeks ago or a month ago when Gene was here comments were made we want to put this thing to, to bring rest. some finality to this mm -hmm. issue and you know uh, and I think maybe like I said a letter detailing what we've done if you've got something else present it I would recommend just so you've covered all of our bases it probably wouldn't hurt to have a conversation with you first first yeah, yeah. And maybe do that before next meeting. So in the next two weeks, have Katie reach out to Hugh, yeah. have a conversation, see what he's aware of. Maybe he's aware of the details of the 1950s handshake. I don't know. I mean, find out what what there is for background on that side. So you've truly, at that point, I think you've turned over, quote-unquote, every stone. I mean, you've looked at everything at that point. Let's see if we can get him down to the town hall, not at a meeting, but so that... Well, have them meet people. with Katie and Mike and yeah. or Kevin, Katie, yeah. Kevin, Kevin, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. See what I you would. can, you know, find out, and then you can report back on that on next meeting. And then, I mean, the reality is, it sounds like because you were doing this long before I was sitting here, this has been a dance. Oh yes, back and forth for every every four or five years for the last. 25, 25? I mean, it sounds like it's been a long time. So if that's the reality, um, have a conversation with you. And then, like Kevin said, we can present. This is what we're aware of. This is what we've found. This is what the minutes state. If you have more documentation that you'd like to present, let's, let's talk. But... Um, the other thing that this is going to add up to, if we go down the route of where it was before I got on the board, it's going to turn into a whole legal, yeah. which which is going to rack up the legal costs in a hurry. So we don't want to go down that route either. If we can just, again, in his terms, put it to bed, where it's no longer an issue, let's put it to bed. So, Just, you know, on top, I mean, when you mentioned the 1950s handshake, these two burials that we know of, for 50 years after this after the handshake after these alleged yeah. this alleged handshake yeah. I mean this is 2006 2007 these two burials yeah. yeah so I guess what what finality do you want to reach like I want to start with you Spafford and see if you can I find see. anything else and that's gonna that in my opinion in two weeks is gonna guide where okay. we're gonna go <clears throat> Because if he if he reveals a whole bunch of information we're not aware of, then we got a whole another issue we got to talk about. That's my thought. 
He's probably the only source around it. Yeah. Boy. I don't know pretty much anything about There it. can't be anybody else that would really know much about, her. much about it. His mother's buried up there, no. if I remember right. Oh. That property that, uh, how long is Gene Stone on that property? Did, did you look that up? I didn't look that up. I came back from California in 1979, and I used to tire shoot after that in that sand pit where that trailer is, where his house is. So I don't know who owned it back then, but I mean, there was nothing except the sand pit. And he used to tire I also thought that one of crayers, but I'm probably wrong. So I know we're giving you a to do list. You're talking to Hugh Spafford. It might not hurt to to pull the history of the deeds. I mean, you can look those up. Go back through and just see what... Just glance. You never know. Yeah, you no, might, it's not that hard to. You don't know what the deeds are going to turn up. If they make they may make reference to something or yeah. not. Yeah, well, I know the Smith... Or the one near um, Lori Phillips, her deed mentioned that cemetery, so perhaps... Uh, it might It might show you something. Well, if you want to just make it some quick notes and tomorrow when I come in, I can... Look up. Look up. Need a hand or a jingle. Hmm? You need a hand call. I don't mind coming in. Two Marines on this. So. You'll, get, you'll get to the bottom of it? <laughs> All right. Uh, that, that, was, yeah, that was old business. Do we have any new business? The hair looks very nice. <laughs> no, no comment. I move we adjourn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gloria, you have anything? I do. Okay, please. One week from tomorrow is election day. Yes. Tuesday, March seventh. We're open ten to seven. Um, you can request an absentee. You can come in and vote. Same day voter registration. So if you're not registered, you can come in and register and vote same day. All right. The Monday before oh. that is when we set up in here. Yes. Okay. And, and the Monday night before that at the community center, right. 6 p.m. No, 7 p.m. 7 Yeah. We're having the uh, meeting. <coughs> town meeting, basically. Right. Town meeting. To go over what's on the ballot and any concerns anybody has. Um. We're going to meet down here at 1 o'clock yeah. for set up on Monday? Set up for elections, yeah. Okay. That's good. Anything else? That's all I have. Katie, do you have anything? Um, I was just going to give you an update uh, about the purchasing policy. I had given you guys one from 2004 and said you guys said that there was one newer. And I talked to Heidi again about it. And she, I can't find a newer one. And she said that there is not a newer one than that <laughs> i searched my email because i would have been on at that time yeah. and nothing came up in my email i swore we did one maybe yes. it never got completed but i'm wondering so if we maybe started talking about it and it never got done i I, think, I i don't know yeah i think that's the case i also looked in because i like to take copies of that stuff home and i could not find yeah. a uh, final yep i could not find anything and it goes to the town clerk to record, and there was nothing in the books. Yeah. So, so I think if if you want, I can have like a draft for next meeting. I mean, we're gonna have a new board, um, mm -hmm. and I've kind of made some comments of things we should add or whatever. Um, and then I'm also working on that grant for the speed flashback sign, so I'll have that ready for you guys to look over at the next meeting. Is that what the pricing was related to that you sent out today? Yeah. And there should, there's no match on that grant. So if we got it, there'd be no cost to the town. Is there a maximum award on that? Like I don't how know. much they'll award? I'm not sure. Okay. So that's all I have. All right, Cash, you have any concerns? Just uh, for the public out there, people on the road and stuff, just have respect for the plow trucks. Not just the town plow truck, but even private guys I've seen many close calls this last week 
even with the pickups that are backing out in the yard plowing and stuff like that and also remember that it's illegal to plow across the road not only to and leave snow on the road like that too oh, I have all right um, on East Timmis Road we had a young lady went off the road kind of tipped a car um, and I just wanted for the record to thank uh, Mark Chapin who volunteered to come down with his tractor to help pull her out of the deep ditch it was she, she was a little nervous to say the least. so uh, for the record thanks Mark that's all I have I'm all set for tonight I'm okay. good so moved all in favor. Like <laughs> All right. All right.